Yo. All right, so first of all, you guys know I'm not a financial advisor, but I want to touch on something that I think is very, very important, okay? It's what happened in the 2007-2008 financial crisis. Now, this is right from Investopedia.com. Um, I like to source everything. Um, so, here we go, guys. So, basically, this, this happened over the course of years. I would say, you know, last or 2020, 2021, 2022. You'll get where I'm going. All right, let's see here. So, years in the making. They were showing signs that a reckoning was overdue for a years long binge on cheap credit. Remember how, you know, credit was going at 0% for how long? Um, it, it seems very familiar, right? So, two Bear Stearns hedge, hedge funds collapsed? More than the, that many already collapsed. Okay. Remember how Citadel said that you couldn't withdraw money from, from the, their fund? Huh. That's familiar. Now, they're, they're talking about a Bank of England, um, f uh, funding. Okay. Europe is in an energy crisis right now, so that's something to consider. Yet despite the warning signs, few investors suspected that the worst crisis in nearly eight decades was about to engulf the uh, global financial system. Again, I just covered this with everybody here on live stream. Um, I'm going to argue that I believe that we are getting worse warning signs this time than last time. It was an epic financial and economic collapse that cost many ordinary people their jobs, their life savings, their homes, or all three. Look at the average 401k and look at home prices in the in what was just a housing bubble. Okay, and housing prices um, are down drastically from at the top of the bubble. See. Biggest U.S. bankruptcy ever. Think about all these crypto firms that are now starting to go. When the bubble bursts, I'm going to say that I believe that the, bo that the bottom's in. Not financial advice. I think that the bottom hit last switching day um, or T plus two off the last switching day. Not the one that just happened, the one previous. Okay. Um, that's just my opinion. Take it or leave it. So again, um, what caused that housing bubble? So we had an everything bubble, though. We had the housing bubble. We had the car bubble. We had the chip bubble. We had the everything bubble. Okay? And, and now we have the BRICS nations that are working against us. Now, the seeds of the financial crisis were planted years before the rock bottom of um, interest rates and loose uh, lending standards that fueled a housing bubble in the U.S. and elsewhere. Think about the rip that we just had. We had a, we had a rip before before COVID. Okay, we had a huge rip in the market, and then all of a sudden, bang, and then we had we had the recovery, right? So it began as usual with good intentions. Remember how they were talking about good intentions, guys? So that they, they lowered the rate. Remember they lowered the rate? Instead of 1%, though, it was 0%. It was 0%. The result was an upward spiral in home prices. Remember how house, houses were just you know 20% above where they're at now or, or more, give or take? I mean, I, I don't want to be on the record by saying a certain percentage and be wrong. But, I mean, they're, they were a lot higher than what they are now. Now, mortgage-backed securities. Every single time Powell is asked about this, he avoids he avoids it as far as he can. Remember how many times yesterday during that hearing, the leverage 
was brought up. Probably about 10 times or more. And why would they have a hearing on on banks and, you know, their responsibility if they were doing some everything right? It, it just wouldn't happen. Look at all these people that are going under. And think about the crypto firms. Think about the hedge funds laying off half their workforce. Think about all the layoffs that happened because of AI and you know things of that nature. Okay, think about the um, the employment uh, the employment path that we're on now. They say these these reports come out and we're beating them. I don't think that the data that we're receiving is right. I mean, now that that's my tinfoil hat theory, we could call it. But I don't think that the numbers are are accurate and you know what if you if you go back to uh two tesla earning calls ago elon doesn't believe it either so i mean if you don't agree with me maybe you'll agree with him august 2007 so i would say 2021 okay that's when the dominoes started to fall for us this year this time So, you know the coordination that's going on right now? It's kind of the same thing, guys. Kind of the same thing. March 2008, the demise of Bear Stearns. September of 08, the fall of Lehman Brothers. We're in September right now. The Wall Street bailout package was approved in the first week of October 2008. We're not even in October yet. We're close. Or, not 08, but 20, 2022, excuse me. But we're close to October is what, I, is what I was trying to say. I do apologize. And think about all the money that was printed over the last two years. Please. The, pass the passage of the bailout package stabilized the markets, which hit bottom, and then embarked on the longest bull market in its history. What if we're headed towards a larger... Like a, like a larger bull cycle. Some portions of the act had been rolled back by the Trump administration. Those regulations are intended to prevent a crisis similar to 2007-2008 event from happening again. But you know what wasn't? The fact that of naked shorts. That was just never enforced. They're, they're still not allowed to naked short companies. But, I mean, it's been proven with, say, ATER. And I would argue other stocks, but it's not proved um, that they are naked shorting companies. Which is why we're at where we are. And then again, this goes back to... This section here goes back to the fact that Jay Powell won't even talk about MBSs, really. Who is to blame? The predatory lenders. So the people that were on the on the committee yesterday, I would I'd argue, and probably other bankers that just didn't go. But um, why hold a bank meeting yesterday unless they were failing? Why? Just out of the blue, just to say hello? I don't think that that's how that happens. All right, so as far as the biggest banks that got a bailout, J.P. Morgan and Chase, they were at the meeting yesterday. Goldman was not at the meeting. Um, however, I think that they may end up as too big to fail, quote-unquote. Um, Bank of America was there. Wells Fargo was there yesterday. 
okay? And they all talked about mortgages. The word mortgage and the word, the words mortgage, um, leverage, and digital dollar were brought up so many times yesterday during that meeting. This is, this is what I want to focus on though, okay? Who made money? Who made money? Smart investors made money from the crisis, mostly by picking up pieces from the wreckage. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Sorry about the pups. Bubbles occur all the time in the financial world. Everything bubbles all at once do not happen all the time. Think about it, guys. Houses, cars, chips. And then everything else because people, people, you know, people went out and spent the money that was given to them through stimulus. And then everyone became broke. So, it's my opinion that things are a lot worse than what they were in 2007, 2008. And I think that we are getting to an area that is going to be very, very dangerous. Um, again, totally my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an economist. But... I can tell you what, dumb money is picking up the wreckage from what I could see. Guys, please like, sub, share. You guys could go to Investopedia and, and, you know, check this stuff out yourselves. It's very important. But when push comes to shove, Everything was okay with 2008. They made it seem like everything was okay. And then all of a sudden, it wasn't. Out of nowhere. After, you know, showing signs, showing signs, showing signs. Boom. It happened. And the smart investors made money from picking up the wreckage. Alright. But, hey, I'm going to be live until 8. Still got some time. Um, like I said, please like, sub... If you want to come and hang out please do uh, we have constant dd being fed in chat um and then after this video i am going to be you know covering charts again and doing ta but i appreciate your time and i will catch you later